Hello, welcome to another program. Now, about the uh, where we left off the last time, uh, we are saying, and we now know when we talk about the mind and the differences between right and brain hemisphere, that everything that has taken place so far had to first take place in the world of the mind before it could appear in the world of physics. And then by so thinking and by understanding this to be so, the past is composed of materialized thoughts. The present is the processing of materializing thoughts. The future is composed of conceived thoughts not yet materialized. So everything has to do with thoughts first. If it doesn't happen in the world of the mind, it will never happen in the world of physics. That's how important mind is. And to think that Papa and Mama did not teach us how to use our minds at the proper time. When is the proper time to learn to use our minds, to learn to develop the use of the right brain hemisphere? In between 7 and 14 years of age. While we're developing the second antibody cycle, when human intelligence comes on the scene, the analytical processes, the deductive faculty of mind appears on the scene. Now that's when we should have been taught how to use our minds and there make a, an impression, make points, establish points of reference using the right brain hemisphere so as to never forget ever again how to use the right brain hemisphere. But this did not happen. We seem that by natural means we took the path of least resistance using our biological senses to be attracted to see new things and label them, to hear new things, new sounds and label them, and the same with the other senses, trying to saturate the use of the biological senses, but we never establish points of reference so as not to forget how to again or keep on using the right brain hemisphere. We bypassed it. Now, looking into the reasons why we are not moving in the right direction is because we are not spiritual enough. Now, what happens when we develop our spiritual fact factor? You see, the spiritual factor can be enhanced, can be strengthened. The stronger your spiritual factor, the further away you are from the animal level. Animals don't develop spiritual factors. How do you develop a spiritual factor? Functioning within a spiritual dimension, using your faculties of the mind, especially using the right brain hemisphere. We become more and more human. You see, a human is not one who looks like one, is one who acts like one. There are many who look like human beings and they're pure beasts, they're animals. They kill and destroy as though they cut down trees. They have no emotions, no feelings towards humanity. They're strictly left brain hemisphere thinkers. Now when uh, we develop correctly, we become, meaning, develop more spiritual or spiritually. We become more human, more humanitarian. We like to help people solve problems. And when you help solving problems, you're helping whoever created the system. We call the creator God. You're helping the process. You're helping in the right direction now. Every time you want to correct problems, when you want to analyze problems, those right brain hemisphere thinkers always think and analyze problems at 10 cycles brain frequency with the right brain hemisphere. Not with the left one. Ninety percent of people think and analyze their problems at 20 cycles, which means a connection to the left brain hemisphere, brain-wise. So these people, once they learn how to use the right brain hemisphere, the ones taught by the silver method, they will from there on, always, when they analyze problems, go to 10-cycle brain frequency, and there analyze problems. Once they find what they're supposed to do about the problem, they change over to 20 cycles and act on what they found to correct the problem. 
in physics. So the right thing to do is think with the right one and act with the left one. Not think and act with the left one at 20 cycles. The right dimension for thinking is the center of the brain frequency spectrum. And the brain frequency spectrum, the overall average is 20 vibrations. The center is 10. And 10 is named by scientists the alpha dimension. So now, when you want or when you desire to solve a problem, your brain automatically goes to 10 when you have learned to use your subconscious consciously, which is the right brain hemisphere, which is a 10 cycle brain frequency. So when you decide to solve a problem, your brain changes immediately to 10 and you're using the right brain hemisphere. When you do so, you are strengthening your immune system. That's your first bonus that you get for doing so. Strengthening of the immune system. Now you become healthier automatically. Now why is this? 10 cycle vibration, brain-wise, strengthening your immune system? Where did this all come from? Why 10 cycles? Why not 20? Why any other frequency? Well, it all started when a scientist in astrophysics, Dr. Schumann, discovered the way to detect and measure energy in space. And uh, he found that the space formed between planet Earth and the layer of ions, the ionosphere, forms a resonating cavity that's pulsing at 10 cycles per second. It's a universal frequency. Anything that pulses or is modulated, moves, has to be moved or modulated by a point of origin. Something has to cause it. And whatever causes it is called the generator, the point of beginning. And these scientists believe that the generator could well be in the depths of the universe to say something. What else can they say? Now they suspect that all planets that contain life are surrounded with a pulsing frequency, this frequency. So when we get into 10 cycles, we are becoming attuned to a universal frequency besides using the right brain hemisphere, besides using the spiritual dimension, the invisible world of the mind. Now, other scientists have found, for instance, that uh, taking an enzyme and destroying 90% of the health of the enzyme and separating the damaged enzyme in different compartments and placing each one in a, an energy field energy field with a variable frequency, and having selected all types of energy fields, meaning ultrasonic, infrasonic, ultraviolet, infrared, electromagnetic, magnetic, and so forth and so on, to find, to see if any one energy at any one frequency could help the recuperation of the damaged enzyme. And the only frequency that brought back 90% of the health of the enzyme was the weak magnetic field pulsing at 10 cycles per second. And that's what's found in the space between planet Earth and the ionosphere. So what is happening here? Why was the enzyme brought back to health? In other experiments, it has been found that if you place a plant within any one of these fields, especially the weak magnetic field, then the plant will outgrow any other plant that is not within the field. Another thing that has been found is that if we destroy, let's say, cut the roots off plants and place them within a weak magnetic field, that the plants placed within this field will dry up, will shrink, and become mummified. They will not spoil. And they wanted to know why they don't spoil like the ones placed outside of this field. And the reason was, they claim, scientists do, that is because that this magnetic field, pulsing at 10 cycles per second, stimulates the subatomic particles in matter, excites them. And exciting the subatomic particles in matter causes the expulsion of moisture that keeps it from spoiling. So now, when we get into 10 cycle brain frequency, we are stimulating our subatomic particles in matter. 
and our body chemistry is composed of subatomic particles, and our body chemistry is controlled by the immune system. So this excitation reflects on the immune system and charges it up, strengthens it. So every time you decide to solve a problem, you automatically go to 10 cycles, and while you're analyzing a problem, you're strengthening your own immune system that will keep you alive. Can you imagine that, an automatic rewarding mechanism created by the creator of the universe we call God? What tremendous intelligence. Every time you help God, you get a bonus. Your bonus will be better health, a stronger immune system. You see, people who learn to use the right brain hemisphere, people who solve their problems at 10 cycles, or strengthening their immune system, these people who analyze problems at 10 cycles, which is the center of 20, we call centered. People who solve their problems on 20, at the extreme end of the overall average brain frequency spectrum, we call not off-centered, but eccentrics. So 90% of humanity are eccentrics in their way of thinking. Only 10% are centered in their way of thinking. Plus the ones we are helping to center with the silver method. Now, a centered person is more spiritual, more God-loving, believe more in God than anything else. They want to belong to some religion. doesn't matter which one. They want to belong to some religion. That's a centered person. It's a human being, a more properly developed human being. He's using the faculties that God gave him in the proper dimension, in the proper manner. And for that, he does not attract psychosomatic health problems. So we say that centered people do not attract psychosomatic health problems. Those who attract psychosomatic health problems are the eccentrics. And why so much in psychosomatic health problems? Because 90% are eccentric. Medical science is saying that 90% is almost say more than 90% of all health problems are psychosomatic. Can you imagine how healthy a central person is going to be if they get rid or would not attract psychosomatic health problems? when no indeed that more than 90% are psychosomatic. As to begin with, what a tremendous bonus we get from our Creator by helping the Creator with creation in solving problems. Now, the second bonus comes from uh, using the right brain hemisphere. The right brain hemisphere is the intuitive brain hemisphere. Not the left one, the right one is the intuitive. What does intuitive mean? It means that this particular hemisphere has its own sensing faculties. It detects information. It detects danger when close to danger and transfers that feeling to the left brain hemisphere to decide to move in the right direction and get away or keep from getting hurt. Now, that's your right brain hemisphere who will be the, let's say, the sonar of a submarine, or who will be the radar, biological radar system of the body, who will be the garden angel, whatever you want to call it, it keeps you safer, meaning centered people rarely get into accidents. Why so many accidents? Because 90% of people are eccentrics, that's why. Another bonus. When you are analyzing problems at 10 cycles, not only are you more spiritual, not only are you healthier, but now you're safer. Now, another benefit that comes from using the right brain hemisphere, which is the intuitive one, and because of intuition, you are going to be right more times than wrong. An eccentric is more times wrong than right. And being right is good luck. Being wrong, making mistakes, is bad luck. And because of ignorance, if you did not know any better, ignorance does not exempt you from suffering when you make a mistake because of ignorance. So then, meaning, a centered person is more successful in life because they don't make as many mistakes. 
uh, Dr. Ryan used to say, he was the one that formulated the mathematics of probability. He used to say, by guessing alone, an eccentric, he's talking about eccentrics, you write only one out of five. Then we find that the center person can be right two out of five, three, four, and five out of five sometimes. That's because of intuition. Which means an eccentric getting to five different businesses, maybe he's going to fail on four. If he selects uh, five business partners, maybe four go, go sour on him. Uh, to get married, he's got to marry five times you know, to hit the right one too, you know. Because that goes along with the same selection by intuition. A center person, the first woman or man for life. Not that you have to get married five times to find the right one. Eventually, that's for eccentrics. Why the rate of divorce is so high? Because 90% are eccentrics. If they're all central, this wouldn't happen. Again, moving in the wrong direction because 90% of humanity are eccentrics. We need to help these people learn how to use the right brain hemisphere. And that's where our method comes in, to be.